Uh, we're witnessing something we've never witnessed before here. We're talking pods of dolphins. Not just a pod, but pods, plural. Hundreds. Hundreds of dolphins right now. I've never seen anything like that. They're from a distance, but they're getting much, much closer to the boat. This is unbelievable. I mean, there clearly are hundreds. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Guys, welcome back to a, kind of a fun little video today. Lindsay and I are actually uh, in California. We talked about this, I think, yesterday. But Opinion is taking the entire company on a cruise. So we've got- The about, whole crew. Uh, the whole crew. We've got about 28 state rooms, roughly. Roughly, maybe right around 50-ish something people. It's really cool. It's pretty stinking cool. I gotta show you guys our shirts. Oh yeah, show them there, babe. So we just gathered up top and just took a nice picture with the whole crew. In our shirt. Matching shirts. Check these out, you guys. So cool. Look at that. The Kenyan cruise. <laughs> this is honestly a super special thing for me and my partner to be able to go and say thank you to some amazing people that we work with. And uh, a lot of people have not been on a cruise since their very first time, so it's awesome to be able to do this and just kind of just, you know, let them enjoy the next few days here in the Pacific Ocean. It's going to be a ton of fun. Super cool. And you guys are celebrating a huge milestone, right? Yeah. That's the whole reason yeah. for the so, cruise. Celebrating a milestone that we hit achieved last year. Actually, had a couple of them. So this is kind of an accumulation of, of a handful of milestones and rewards that we wanted to give back to the employees. So super fun, super exciting. So as you guys know, Papa and Grandma Adams are taking care of the kids. They're home. They're amazing. Having lost they were just their here. Best life. Yeah. As you guys recall, we were in Mexico for, again, opinion related stuff. I think it was like four or five weeks ago that they were just babysitting. Yep. yep. But yeah, they are having the best time. Papa and Grandma are spoiling them as usual. Papa gets yeah. up before school. Actually, I mean, they both get up, but Papa makes like a giant breakfast before school. So then I come home and the kids are like, cereal for breakfast again? More cereal? They've been eating so good. So yeah, they're having a ton of fun, and I'm so happy that the sun just came out. I know, it, guys, it was raining this morning. It was really so, chilly. <laughs> I mean, we, you, you saw a little bit yesterday, right? I mean, we, we kind of been sporadically filming a little the last couple of days, because honestly, last week was a total haze of just being in the hospital and just, I mean, literally just sat there for like a week straight, so. Yeah, so we were kind of switching off. Justin was mostly up there with Landon, holding down the fort up there. I was taking care of the kids and all the normal stuff at home, but I was also trying to put back our entire house. Yeah, because it's not done yet. We actually still have to have the entire house painted, but we wanted to wait because we've got some stuff next week that we're also gonna be able to to, to do. So they can paint while yeah. we're gone. Mm -hmm. But I was like having to wipe down a layer of dust everywhere from the painters and then put all of our cupboards back in our kitchen, our laundry room, all of our bathrooms. So it's been kind of a crazy week. Bit of a haze. So we're excited to be here. You're kind of catching glimpses of what's going on here, but we're gonna, you know, Basically, this next few days, we are spending on a Carnival cruise ship here with uh, the Opinion crew. We've got ourselves a beautiful balcony room. Show them lens here. Here's our balcony. We just saw some dolphins right over there. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. We were just leaving the shore. The boat just took off. These cute little dolphins were swimming right there. So the itinerary is this. Today is a takeoff chill. We've got dinner a little bit later, shows tonight. We've got uh, Catalina tomorrow, which is funny because we've been to Catalina. It's like, like our third this time. Third time to Catalina. In like six months. And it's funny, we've never been in our entire lives, and suddenly we've been, you know, now three times in the last six months. And then Ensenada the next day, so that'd be kind of fun. And then we have an at sea day, and then we're home. So it's a short little cruise, but it's a fun little getaway mm -hmm. that we're excited to have.
right, you guys, day two on the cruise. We're here in Catalina Island. We are just laughing about it because... <laughs> we've been here three times in six months, which is funny because we've never been here never. before six months ago. And I've, it's somewhere I've always wanted to go. And so we came for Lindsay's birthday and then we came again for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving just because we happen yeah, to be right. in San Diego anyway. So we're like, let's take the kids. It'll be something fun to do. And here we are. It's one of our cruise stops. Yeah. And it's cold. <laughs> you can see we've got jackets on. Definitely on a summer weather here. But honestly, we're having a blast. We've talked to a ton of the employees that are here. Everyone's having a ton of fun. So this is stop one. You know, we'll spend the rest of the day here. And yeah, there's lots to do in Catalina. If you've never been here, it's actually a really fun island. You know, golf carts, bikes, shopping, etc. We've done all that. So today, Lindsay and I are just kind of cruising. But my recommendation is to come in the summertime when it's warm. Yeah. Because then we rode bikes. It's a little chillier. It was chilly at Thanksgiving, and it's chilly now in March. So I'd say go in the summer. Agreed. So anyway, we're uh, honestly here now. Just kind of walking around. We're witnessing something we've never witnessed before here. We're talking pods of dolphins. Not just a pod, but pods, plural. Hundreds. Hundreds of dolphins right now. Never and they're, seen anything like that. They're from a distance, but they're getting much, much closer to the boat. This is unbelievable. I mean, there they're clearly are hundreds. So much so that it's disrupted the, the actual, like, surface of the water. Where it looks like it's all windy out there, but it's not. It's just nothing but dolphins jumping towards us. They're coming closer. I'm going to see if I get a better shot. I don't know. All right, y'all, we are pulling out of, as you can see, pulling out of Ensenada as we speak. In fact, I kind of had a Doug moment here where I jumped over the bed and I'm like, how oh, we're moving, I want to see them pull off the ropes. Reminded me of his dad. I know, my dad loved that stuff. He was just a nautical nerd. He just loved it so much. He but totally loved it. We're back in the boat. We've actually been back in the boat for a couple hours. We videoed a little bit intermittently. We basically did a food tour. Today. Yeah, it was like a food <laughs> tour. So there's this guy who does these cool tours down here. It's called Taco oh, Views and Brews. The bruise bit, since we don't drink, he kind of customized for our group. We had, we had like one two extra other couples. View and yeah. then like two extra food places. Yeah. So my only regret today is eating breakfast because the food was so good. We had he, so much of it though. He took us to this fresh shrimp seafood ceviche type toast, like it was tostada ceviche. Well, street carts, mostly it was street cart food. It was, it was so really fresh, so good. So then we jumped in the car and he took us straight to a fish taco place. And I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> here we go. Planning a taco balloon. Taco number two, so good. Apparently that is the first fish taco, I guess, ever. I don't know. I mean, it says 1970s is when it was. So I guess they weren't doing tacos in the 1960s. It was really good. Fish tacos, that is. Or shrimp tacos. And he took us to like a lookout spot, like where you could see the entire city of Ensenada. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's huge. Yeah, Ensenada is actually really, really big. Very industrial port. In fact, as you see behind us here, there's mm -hmm. a big shipping kind of container area, whatnot. But Apparently it was originally a fishing village. Yes, turned kind of touristy, if you will. There's 30 something cruise ships that come in on a monthly basis, I think, something like that. Yeah, so a so. lot of tourism. Then he took us to a restaurant, so we ate three types. Tried some burrito tacos. You got a little fruit cup with like some Tajin on it. Yeah, it was so good, by the way. That Mexican type candy with like the spice. Ooh, I love it. And then we got some fresh made horchata. Honestly, we tried like all of my favorite Mexican foods, so I was happy. This is a good port. Yeah. I mean, and it was chilly today. It was really cold. So, Honestly, this whole cruise has been really chilly. Yeah. 
haven't even gotten our bathing suits once. Yeah, this time of year over here, for some reason, it's just a little chillier. It's like 60 degrees, windy. So really, a food tour was perfect, given the weather. So anyway, back on the boat and... We go to dinner with Justin's co-workers every single night. So it's so fun to get it's to know everybody. Kind of fun. Yeah, because everyone brought their significant other or plus one, whatever it is. And so it's been fun to kind of sit down and have different groups of people each night for dinner. Yeah, so some of your sales team yeah. like lives around the country, you know, Indiana mm -hmm. and... Texas and yep, um, Atlanta. Yeah, Washington. Yeah. So it's really been fun to get to know everybody. Super, super cool that your whole company's on a cruise together. It's kind of fun. We, keep, we keep telling all the people at the Whoever at the meet. ports, yeah. yeah, that we're here on a work trip, and they're like, "That's such a cool work trip." Yeah. So it's been really fun. Our cruise officially come to an end. Just got off the ship. Guys, we had so much flipping fun. Yeah, that was so fun. It was so fun. So we're off the boat now. We're headed to, we obviously don't know because we have luggage. Our flight is until five, but we'll figure it out. I'll give you guys a little bit of updates here in a minute. Once we've gotten off the ship officially, we are off the boat. However, we're not out of the terminal. We'll give you a little breakdown on the highlights of the trip before we head home. Okay, so here's the skinny on our flight situation, people, since you all just been dying to find out, right? So our flight's at five, and we try to get on standby. And get on a one o'clock. To get on a one o'clock, yes. We have flights for five, but we try to get on an earlier flight. The only option was standby. Anyway, so I get off the ship, get to the airport, right? Check in, and the lady's like, ah, there's only one seat left, which means we'd get split up. So rather than rolling the dice on standby. Because it's a really small plane. It's like, a there's small maybe plane. a total of like 30 seats total. Somebody backing out is probably pretty low. We give it it's 11.15. Our flight is not till 1 on standby or 5 on non-standby, right? So ultimately what we decided to do is not roll the dice and sit at the airport for hours only to get the likely probability of being turned away. So we've actually come down into kind of main Long Beach area. It's like a shopping area, yeah. food it's called, area. It's on the water. Yeah, so, so if you're from Cali, it's called Pike Outlets. And uh, we come right here to one of our favorite restaurants, a place I think we actually were introduced maybe in Miami. Miami yes, yeah. it's called Yard House. So we're uh, gonna have a little lunch, just relax. They've got outlets over there that we're gonna go check out. They have a restoration hardware outlet, which I'm like, okay, this is where I wish that I had a giant truck and we were driving home. I'm this not is, gonna be able to buy anything. This is why I'm grateful we don't have a driving truck. <laughs> and so anyway, we're having a little lunch here. I mean, we're eating right where good old Doug Beeman will be proud. Mm -hmm. He just really instilled a love for water in all of us. But yeah, here we are right here in the marina and uh, yeah, just casually making our way back home. 